Hey guys, how's it going? Alright, so today I'm back with some new tutorials. It's not gonna be anything about hacking, it's not gonna be about protecting yourself, but it's going to be about how to make your own game. Yeah, we're gonna learn how to make our own game today from scratch, means from designing our uh, our graphics to coding it to functioning it, okay? So, we'll be making today a game called Memory Matching Game. It's a pretty old game, but pretty fun, and I like it. Let me show you how does that look like. Uh, I'm not scripting this, so forgive me for any mistakes. All right, let's go to Google Images and uh, memory matching game. It's gonna look something like this kind of games. You remember them back in the days when you used to play them? Um, be all cards flip like that, and then based on time you will. You know, you will guess what each card match. That's gonna be our game for today. So, cool. Let's let's start it. What we're waiting for. All right. What we need today, or well, the materials actually we will need are the materials we will need today are Photoshop and Visual Studio 2012. Now you could use any version of either one of them. Doesn't matter what version you're using. And also for Photoshop, if you don't have Photoshop, you can use whatever you like. Even paint could work. So our game is going to be based on uh, 24, 24 cards. All right? But we're going to design 12 cards. And the reason we're going to design 12 cards is because each card will be duplicated. So 12 times 2 is going to be 24 cards. You understand? There will be two, two similar cards on our table. For you to match them, so we're gonna use 12 cards. Now go to file, go to new, and let's call this card one. And actually, I do like 200 and 300 as of my dimensions for my card. Leave it as transparent, or you could put it white as you like. Uh, and now I'm going to really put just put numbers. You could use whatever you like. You could even use pictures from Google. Matter of fact, if you know we're gonna use actual pictures. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up some pictures from from Google. All right. Oh, let's see. Apple. Look, look what brings up this taking over even even organic apples. All right, I do like this. So let's take that view image. Come on, hurry up. Just take it some time, right? All right, save it. So I'm gonna do this for 12 pictures. I'm gonna go to my. All right, so I'm gonna go to my directory and save it. We're gonna do this for 12 cards. I mean, I'm gonna pull up 12 images. You could do that. You could do choose whatever your whatever pictures you would like. All right. So I'll pause it. I'll continue after. All right. So here, what I did. I pulled out 12 images. Actually, I first created uh, a project name called Memory Matching Game. Project folder, sorry. Inside this folder, I have one file right now. It's called Photoshop. Inside Photoshop, uh, I don't know why I did that. Inside Photoshop, I have another folder called Fruits. And here I pulled up all my fruits. 12. Alright, so let's go back to Photoshop. Let's import all of them, Ctrl-8, and then just drag them onto Photoshop. Uh, see, alright, so they are being imported. Here we go, we have all 12 of them. Let's go back to our... Oops, ah, no, come on. Alright, alright, where's the slider thing? Alright, let's go back to card 1. And for some reason, this thing came off place also. Alright, so we're back to card one. Let's set our borders. So 10 by 10 by 10 by 10. Alright, let's get all S to save our file. Save as Photoshop, call this card one. Save it. And now let's go back to actually let's take let's pick this our rounded rectangle tool radius set as ten 
default with white color and stroke I like it to be 0.16 points with a white color from here you can choose your style of stroke but I like that alright now let's pull it within our borders and drag it that's it you got your nice shape now let's rasterize this layer since it's a smart layer let's rise it now it's good I call this our background um, by entering on cutrol and semicolon this will hide all of our ruler okay now keep it for now let's center our fruits so bring this down to 40 from the top actually set put it down 60 from the top 60 from the bottom since so 300 minus 60 and 240 all right and about 40 from the sides 200 minus 4 160 that's, that's perfect all right now let's start bringing our fruits first of all let's start with the kiwi all right i pulled some png and some uh, JPEG images. I do prefer PNG because they are transparent already, but since our background is white, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna crop this to hide the word, to hide the copyright thing, and go to cropping tool. So first of all, select what I want to crop. Then my cropping tool, double click it, and there you got a nice kiwi right there. All right, so drag it, drop it onto your Oops, what did I just do? Ah, my bad. I'm sorry. Drag it, drag it onto your project. So you see, it's huge right now. Let's just name it. Call it Kiwi. Alright, now by pressing Ctrl T from your keyboard, this will bring this sizing thing. Bring it down to fit this. So it could fit our borders. And that looks perfect. Actually, you see the. Think because I didn't save. You gotta save. Yeah, you have to save first. Fruits and the fruits. Just so all file. Uh, this was a JPEG, right? Yeah, JPEG. Kiwi. Save it. All right. Now this should work, I guess. Yeah. Now we're still with the copyright. Oh, come on. I right, close this Kiwi and reopen it. Yes, sir. I will just save it actually. Close it. Reimport it, Kiwi. All right, here you go. Now drag it to the beginning, so it'll be close to us as we chose it. All right. So come on, now it's far away. There you go. All right, you know what? Let's have lemons. That's more close. Let's go to our card first. Lemon is right next to it, so drag lemon and drop it onto our card. Ctrl T again. Oops, it's too far. So in case you don't see the sizing stuff, um, go to the zoom tool, Z, and there zoom, zoom out, and now press Ctrl T. You see how big it is. Bring it down. It's up out there. All right. Now zoom back in. Here you go. You got your first card. Call this lemon. All right. Now let's go to file, save as, and for Photoshop, just call this cards. Make a new folder called cards, and call this card one.psd. Save. Actually, let's save it as PNG since we're gonna use it as. Let's call it PNG. Where is PNG in here? I don't find it for some reason. So go to file and save for web and devices and choose from here PNG24 or PNG8 that won't really matter I would like for 24 more results hit on done and what just happened god damn it sorry to save and go back go back to our thing without the memory matching game photoshop cards and images only don't you don't need none of this just images and save it that's it let's go back to our folder cards png beautiful beautiful that's our first card 
Let's do the same thing with all the cards. Now disable this layer. Close the limit since we're done with it. I'm doing this really quick. I'll show you two cards and then I'm gonna pause and let you do the rest. Control T. Resize it. All right. When you do one thing, I know it looks really weird. All the orange is pulled up. Anyways, don't hit on Control S. It's gonna resave what you did. So press on Save As again. I wonder why PNG doesn't exist right now. Anyway, do the same thing. File save for web and devices. Then save. Call this card to save. Done. Let's do this to all our soft cards. I'll be right back when I'm done. I'll pause this. Okay, so here I'm back again. Uh, actually, we have beautiful 12 cards right here. That wasn't really too long. It was really quick, but it's still. Alright, see? 12 cards. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Alright, so I think that's what wrap it up for the first part. Um, I'm going to record the second part right now. But I'm hungry, so let me go eat. And then we will do that, right? Uh, I wish you guys enjoyed this video, learned something. You have your 12 cards ready. And next part, we're going to start really fun stuff. We're going to start coding. It's going to be easy. It's not going to be hard. So stay tuned. Don't forget, subscribe if you haven't already. Like and share. Take care.